Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this slouchy style hat for girls between five and six years old. I did this hat to match the little jacket that I showed you uh, last week, this one here. I'll leave the link to this tutorial down here in the information box or simply click the little lamb down here next to my channel name and it'll take you to my main channel page. There you will see all of my tutorials in English and and in Spanish. Okay, so let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this five millimeter crochet hook. To make the brim, I'll be using yarn B, soft and slick. This is a medium number four yarn in this off-white color. Now, I'm going to do the rest of the hat using this Aran weight yarn. This here is um, by Stylecraft in this pale rose color. It's the same yarn that I used to make the uh, matching little vest and the little cardigan that I showed you recently. So here, uh, what we're going to do, like I said, is our brim. So how I made this brim is in the following way. I'm going to show you it with um, this yarn here. This is the pale rose color. So we're going to chain eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, before I continue, you can use the same brand of yarn to make this here. Um, I just didn't have any, so I just uh, picked up any uh, off-white yarn that I had. I used off-white on the little vest and on the little jacket that I showed you, so I'm just going to coordinate them uh, with these two colors. So you can use any number four yarn or any air and weight yarn. Okay, so here to continue, like I said, I have eight chains into the second chain from the hook, make a single crochet and one single crochet on each one of the, sh of the chains so that we finish with seven single crochets. Now, if you want to make this brim wider, add more chains. So here is my last single crochet. I have seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn, chain one, and then we're going to repeat the same thing, but we're going to go through the back loop only. So insert your hook through the back loop and make single crochet. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, turn, chain one, and then repeat the same thing. Insert your hook through the back loop and make your first single crochet into the next and so on. This is how I'm going to make the brim, or actually this is how I made the brim. Here it is, it's all ready. I did a total of 64 rows. Without stretching it, I measured it, and it's measuring about 16 inches, which is about 40 centimeters. Now, what we're going to do here, once your brim is done and you're done making your 64 rows, we're going to have to join both ends. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to insert my hook through this chain here, the first one, right here, and then grab this loop, bring it through the front like this, chain one, now insert your hook back again into this first stitch and through the first single crochet here in the back, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Into the next stitch here in the front and into the second single crochet in the back and make a slip stitch. This is how I'm going to join both of these sides. So continue and I'll meet you once this part here is done. Okay, finished joining both sides and this is what it looks like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work single crochets here along the top. So chain one and we're going to do the following into this first row, this row here that follows, I'm going to make one single crochet. Now into the next row, I'm going to make two single crochets. Into the next one single crochet. Into the next two single crochets. This is how I'm going to continue. Two, one, two, one. So in this next row, make one single crochet, but into the next, make two single crochets. This is how I'm going to continue all around. Just make one single crochet and then into the next row, two. One, two, one, two, and so on. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. 
Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of single crochets. I have a total of 96 single crochets. Here to finish, all I did was just join to the first single crochet with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through that last loop, and then I just hit my ends here. Now, with the main color, the pale rose color here, I'm going to go into the first single crochet, which is the same where I did the slip stitch. I'm going to grab this loop, bring it through the front, chain two. Now, into the next, single crochet this one here make a single crochet chain two and into this same stitch here make three double crochets skip three single crochets one two three and into the fourth make a single crochet chain two and into this same stitch here make three double crochets one two three skip one two three and into the fourth single crochet again make a single crochet two chains and into this same stitch three double crochets again skip one two three and into the fourth single crochet make a single crochet two chains three double crochets this is how i'm going to continue for this first row so continue like this and i'll meet you at the end of this row i'm here at the end of this first row i have a total of 24 shell stitches or 24 of these pattern stitches now to finish we're going to go here to the side where i have the two chains and join with a slip stitch now for the second row we're going to chain two and turn now to begin each row from here on we're always going to work a front post single crochet into the second double crochet of the first shell so make a front post single crochet two chains and then inside the chain two space make three double crochets jump to the next shell and into the second double crochet work a front pull single crochet two chains and then three double crochets inside the chain two space Again, front post single crochet into the next shell, two chains, three double crochets into the chain two space, like this. This is all I'm going to do for this second row, so continue and I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 24 shell stitches or 24 of these pattern stitches. Now to finish this row and all the rows to follow, you're always going to go here to the side where we have the two chains and join with a slip stitch. Now to start every row from here on, you're going to chain two and turn and beginning into the first shell here or this pattern stitch into the second double crochet, you're always going to make a front post single crochet then you're going to make two chains and inside the chain two space make three double crochets this is how you're going to begin each row now jump to the next and into the second double crochet work a front pull single crochet two chains and then three double crochets into the chain two space now this is how you're going to continue for this second row when you finish you're going to join here to the side with a slip stitch right here where we have the two chains chain two again and turn and then repeat the same thing now i'm not exactly sure how many rows i'm going to do from here on but continue watching and i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so i'll meet you at the end of that row Okay, I did a total of 14 rows and it's measuring from this last row to the bottom. It's measuring about 19 centimeters, which is about 7.5 inches. Now, if you want your hat to be uh, a bit more loose, a bit more slouchy, then go ahead and add more rows. I'm just going to leave it like this. So I'm going to close my hat here in the next two rows. So chain three here, turn, and inside each one of the chain two spaces, we're going to make single crochets. Beginning into the first chain two space, make a single crochet, into the next a single crochet, into the next a single crochet. This is how I'm going to continue for this row, so I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this row of reduction. Now to finish, we're going to go here to the side where we have the three chains and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row reduction, chain two, and into this same stitch here, yarn over and insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off yarn over again insert your hook on top of the first single crochet take two loops off three loops on the hook 
close. Now into the next two, we're going to reduce. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first, take two loops off. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. This is how we're going to work this row, so continue and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row of reduction to finish, which is going to go here on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now, I'm not going to reduce any further, I'm just going to close here the top. So I'm just going to pull this loop, tie a knot. I've cut my yarn, so I'm just going to pass my yarn through this needle here. And we're going to weave this yarn around every other stitch. So into the first, skip one into the next, skip one into the next, and so on. Here's the last one. Now, this is going to be the right side for me. It's a reversible stitch, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to close it here. Actually, no, I'm not going to close it here. I'm going to put this through the inside because this is my right side. So, insert that through there, turn it over, and just pull this yarn here to close that hole. Now, tie a knot here. Tie another one. Now, weave it around, cut your yarn. I'm just going to cut it here. And this is my finished hat, my slouchy hat, and that's what it looks like. Now you can add a pompon. Now if you want to make this uh, more slouchy so that it falls or drapes more in the back of the head, you can add more rows. I think it's perfect like this for the size that we're making. Now I have a pompon here that I did I have a tutorial in my channel on how I make my pom-poms. Uh, it's basically just wrapping your um, yarn around your fingers a couple of times, not a couple of times, maybe about 100 or 150 times, depending how big you're, you want your pom -pom. And then you just tie it and then cut the sides and then shape your pom, pom But I'll leave the link to that down here in the information box. So I'm going to attach mine here. I think I cut these too short, but I'm gonna try to I put it through one side and then through the opposite side, insert the other end here. Turn it over, tie it, and that's how I attach my pompons. And just hide your ends and it's done. That's what it looks like. I think it looks really nice. So now I have a matching hat or slouchy hat for the matching little sweater that I showed you, this one here. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you the link to this um, jacket that I did for girls between five and six years old. The hat is also for five to six years old. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.